Deep within the heart of Kentucky's rugged wilderness lies the Daniel Boone National Forest, a vast expanse of dense woods and winding trails that has long been a haven for nature enthusiasts and adventurers. Amidst this natural beauty, there once thrived a small community known as Peaceful Shade. Peaceful Shade was a close-knit and self-sufficient settlement hidden from the rest of the world by the dense canopy of the trees. The settlers of Peaceful Shade had carved out a simple, peaceful existence relying on their bountiful harvests to sustain them through the harsh winter months. However, as the years passed, the settlement faced increasingly difficult times. One fateful autumn, the crops withered and died, and the settlers found themselves facing a grim fate. Desperation gave birth to madness, and in their darkest hour, they turned to the dark rituals and forbidden knowledge and in a desperate attempt to change their fortunes. It was during the harvest moon, a time when the boundary between the living and the dead was believed to be at its thinnest, that they performed a macabre ceremony deep in the heart of this forest. They summoned forces beyond their comprehension, hoping to appease the spirits and secure a bountiful harvest. but their actions had dire consequences. The forest itself seemed to recoil in horror, and a darkness descended upon the settlement. An eerie silence blanketed the land, and the villagers, driven to madness, turned on one another. By the time the sun rose, the settlement was reduced to a smoldering ruin, its inhabitants lost to history. In the years that followed, the forest claimed back the land where peaceful shade once stood, and the story of the settlement faded into obscurity. Yet, it was said that the malevolent force unleashed that faithful autumn remained, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right time to prey on those who ventured too close. As the decades passed, tales of strange occurrences in the haunted section of the forest began to circulate. Hikers and campers reported an overwhelming sense of gloom and despair as they crossed its boundaries. They spoke of hearing eerie sounds that echoed through the woods at night, a mournful symphony of whispers and phantom footsteps. One chilling account came from a group of seasoned backpackers who had set up camp deep within the forest one autumn evening. They had heard the legends, but dismissed them as mere folklore. As the night wore on, the woods seemed to come alive with unsettling sounds. Branches snapped in the distance, and strange ghostly lights flickered through the trees. As the hours passed, an oppressive feeling of dread settled upon the campers. They huddled around the flickering campfire, their faces etched with fear. It was then that they saw them, dark, shadowy figures that moved with unnatural grace through the underbrush. The figures seemed to materialize and vanish at will, their eyes gleaming with malevolence. Terror gripped the campers, and they dared not speak or make a sound. The figures drew closer, their presence suffocating. Just before dawn, as the first light of day began to filter through the trees, the figures melted back into the shadows, leaving the campers shaken and bewildered. Word of these encounters spread, 
and warnings were issued to stay away from the haunted section of the forest during the autumn months. It was then that the area once known as Peaceful Shade acquired a new name, one that reflected the sinister presence that had taken its place, now known as Sinister Shade. Yet there were those who remained undeterred, drawn by a morbid curiosity or a desire to prove the legends wrong. One such individual was Sarah, a determined young woman with a passion for adventure. She had heard the stories and seen the chilling accounts posted online, but she scoffed at the idea of malevolent spirits haunting the forest. To her, it was an opportunity for a thrilling experience, one that could be documented and shared with her online followers. Armed with camping gear and a camera, Sarah ventured into sinister shade one crisp autumn morning. The colors of the leaves danced around her as she trekked deeper into the woods. The air was heavy with foreboding, but she remained steadfast in her pursuit of truth. As night fell, Sarah set up her campsite in a small clearing, determined to capture evidence of the eerie occurrences that had plagued previous visitors. She placed her camera on a tripod, its lens pointed at the surrounding darkness and settled in to wait. The hours passed slowly, and as the moon rose in the sky, Sarah began to question her decision. The woods were alive with unsettling sounds, the rustling of leaves, the creaking of branches, and the distant mournful howling of the wind. The oppressive feeling of dread settled upon her like a suffocating blanket. Just as Sarah was about to pack up her gear and retreat, a faint ghostly light flickered through the trees. Her heart raced and she adjusted the camera's focus, capturing the eerie glow. It danced and swayed, moving closer with each passing moment. The shadows seemed to come alive, coalescing into dark figures that moved with sinister intent. Panic surged within Sarah as she watched the figures draw nearer, their eyes gleaming like malevolent stars in the night. She fumbled for her camera, desperately trying to capture the haunting scene unfolding before her. But as the figures closed in, their presence became overwhelming. Sarah's hands trembled and her camera slipped from her grasp, crashing to the ground and shattering. She stumbled backwards, her heart pounding in her chest, and realized that she was not alone. The figures, now unmistakably real, encircled her. Their eyes were empty voids, and their voices whispered in a language long forgotten. Sarah could feel their cold, clammy fingers brush against her skin, and a chilling sensation washed over her. In that moment of terror, Sarah understood the true nature of the malevolent force that haunted Sinister Shade. It was not a mere legend or a ghostly tale. It was a darkness that hungered for the living, a force born of tragedy and despair. As the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, the figures retreated into the shadows, leaving Sarah trembling and broken. She gathered what remained of her shattered camera and fled sinister shade, vowing never to return. 
the legends of Sinister Shade, formerly known as Peaceful Shade, endured, passed down through generations as a warning to those who dared to venture too close. The malevolent force that dwelled within the woods continued its eternal vigil, preying on those curious and foolhardy, its origins lost to time. And so, as autumn descends upon sinister shade each year, the boundary between the living and the dead grows thin once more, and the haunted section of the woods comes alive with eerie sounds and dark figures, a chilling reminder of the tragedy that had befallen those who had dared to tempt fate. It remains a place of gloom and despair, a testament to the endearing power of darkness in the heart of the wilderness. <laughs>